Welcome back to Encamin's Let's Play. Uh, since I last left you, I've only done two things. One, earn money. Right here, at this stall. Uh, yeah, without the, the job upgrade, it takes a little while. With it, I also went and bought each and every Join home property. I can't get to businesses jewels. yet in the dweller camp. I also got enough cash for what I need coming up. But I also checked a gift that came in just before I left left you last time. It had turned out to be Gung oh what Gungit's musket. Basically it's a evilish type gun. But one of the things for the upgrades is earn ten thousand gold through jobs. So later on after an upgrade, I'll at least try that. Trying to get ten thousand through one of these jobs without an upgrade will take an extremely long time. And I'd rather at least have some boost to it. But for right now, we're going to leave it there. And head on down to meet Walter. And continue the mercenary part of the quest. You were successful then. Bloody marvelous. You'd be glad to know I have some information on the mercenaries Sabine mentioned. They're led by a man called Saker. He used to be a soldier, but always had more in common with bandits and cutthroats than the military. His men are holed up in a small fortress in the mountains, so it won't be easy to get in. Come with me. Alright, it's the same guy. One of Wait the mercenaries. No. <laughs> a cold blooded killer. His name's Clarence, but everybody calls him Jimmy. He was drinking in the pub all day and generally making life unpleasant for everyone. It wasn't hard to get him completely pickled. These young thugs. Bloody lightweight, if you ask me. Anyway, take his clothes and you'll have a free pass into their camp. Just try not to think about what those stains might be. You? Now you're gonna ask what stains where. Hmm. You're not likely to convince anyone without a bit of extra effort. Even these idiots will notice if you don't have his beard or tattoos. I'm sure you can get hold of what you need around town, though. In the meantime, I'll find out who to talk to about getting food to the dwellers. They might not have much to spare here, but they're kind people. They'll just need a little convincing. Anyway, good luck dealing with Saker and his mercenaries. It'll be your first taste of real battle. But I know you'll do just fine. Yeah, turns out Marcus she has to be a bearded lady. Ruler to be named Marcus. However, he believed this oh, these books are a little annoying at times because you so all make a. It goes right into a audio reading. No member of his court ever took issue with this. Uh, not exactly the most pleasant thing, but some of them are quite funny. How could you have that conversation and not have it be unbelievably awkward? You appear to have earned enough gold to purchase the rather repulsive items you require to complete your mercenary disguise. A most impressive feat for a member of the royal family. Of course, should you have acquired a taste for labor, you may continue here. working for as long as you wish. What are you looking for? And right hand tattoo. You're paying or right top arm, not hand. For a top quality item. Only well, 21 cash, but it I'll be getting some soon enough. It appears you have all the required ingredients for your distasteful mercenary disguise. You may return to the sanctuary to change into it when you wish. Yeah, when I wish. Which, are not just yet. I, before I actually go down to the mercenaries, I'm going to show you where a gold key is early in the game. And there's even a gold door in this area too, which I'll be able to go back after a quest. At least one quest. That still, I need to wait a little bit before I can get to. Wait, no, not one. It's a chain. Two quests. Takes a little time, but...
Says I should return. Ah, might as well. Let's adjourn to the dressing room and see about your disguise, shall we? The appropriate facial hair adorns the bust before you. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. <laughs> ah, uh, well, that's not the most traditional look for a lady. However, it should be effective in blending in with Seiko's men. Now for the tattoo. All right. Beard and the tattoo are splendid. You're just missing one thing: the mercenary outfit. That would be this. Right. Men's mercenary outfit. Not exactly standing like one, though, but all right. Ah, yes, very mercenary indeed. You'll fit right in with those brutes. Now then, you better be off to deal with Seika, hadn't you? Uh, I bet I should. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, just, I'll get back to that in just a moment, dog. Just gonna burn these wolves. Got it? Okay. The dig spot was over here. You started barking over here, at least. Where'd you go, dog? Okay. Early dig spots don't have much, but, eh. Sometimes it's better than nothing, especially if you're not going to work a, for a whole lot. Dog train exploration. Oh, well, that'll make things easy. Oh, not that. E, not three. Train the dog. All right. Dog manuals. The number will give you means what series it is. If you ha learn a four, you don't need to learn a two, three, four again. So what you're aiming for is to get ones, or not ones, fives, and then you don't have to worry about ever training a dog again. Unfortunately, those things are a bit hard to get. I tend to find a lot more volume two stuff than anything else. Fifty cash. Let's run for it. All right, the cave was up here, along with a chest. Dwellers, men's boots. Uh, I'll probably end up just buying the whole set later once they're available. I haven't gotten an achievement yet. The Fashion victim of fashion, I think it is. Own every piece of clothing in the game. Funny thing is, I was talking about. I think I've asked before about how you transfer items from one character to the next without using someone else. Well, apparently, as soon as I learn a game, uh, start a new game, all previous saves, no matter what, from what I've seen, apparently just get deleted or stored somewhere else. That I can't. I don't know where. So I would like to find my prince again. Otherwise, I'm going to have to start him over once this Let's Play is over. And not that big of a deal. I'll just play it in a different way. Gunslinger only, maybe? Hmm. Well, many choices. I've been through this cave a couple of times, and so I know some of the little secret areas. Or at least those things that are tucked away. Is that book floating? Savvy yes, is a unique entry in our rogues gallery of famous killers. In that, he is neither famous nor a killer. However, I've always disliked him. And it is my sincere hope that his very inclusion on this list will be seen by prospective romantic partners, their parents, or future employers, and make his life difficult. If he didn't want that trouble, he shouldn't have sat in my chair. Making someone's life miserable just because he sat in your chair. Wait a minute, sounds like me. Nah, couldn't it be? Oh, 
Bats are coming. Oh, oh. Let's fry him. Come on, bats. Over here. Over here. Right now, there's nothing but treasure chests back here, but I might as well show the way. There's some quests that actually lead you back here for whatever reason. But until I come across the mercenaries, these caves are safe aside from bats. I normally don't use pawnbrokers so much, but I thought like the little gems I keep picking up have would be able to do something. Da boom. Unfortunately no. Aside from selling, they don't have much use. Which is fine. Uh, essentially right now dog keeps barking every time I come to a treasure chest, even though I see it clearly. Now, it's handy if I don't happen to see it, but sometimes it just gets annoying. Yes, I see it, dog. Uh-oh. What are you growling at? Well, I think I mentioned before that I, in the Mountain Blade Let's Play, I'm basically doing this for speech practice. Not too comfortable with public speaking yet, let alone just speaking a lot. And that's what this is for. Unfortunately, college credit requires for some speech credits. I am not looking forward to it, but I'm gonna have to get out of the way this fall. Oh, dog barks again. Yep, dig spot. Right now, not too much to find. Still curious where she keeps the shovel, considering there's a hammer and a rifle on, strapped to her back. Later on, these little bits of gold aren't going to be worth much, but then again, by that time, I'll be picking up that, like thousand, 500, 1,000, 2,000. And quantity's about that much. Ah, yes. 15 silver key chest that contains 75,000 gold. Worth come back later, but it takes a little while to get those 15 silver keys unless you, until you've actually gone everywhere. Or at least to Bowerstone. You'd have to be pretty determined just to find every key on the way. Another chest. Thank you, dog. I saw it already. Health potion. That shall be helpful. Oh, and a dig spot. How nice. What? Oh. Wow. Glitched out for a moment. I thought the dog was running on air. Come on. Where is it? Is that over here, dog? Come on. The AI doesn't prove to be too useful at times, now does it? Come on. Oi, dog. If you're gonna keep doing that, I'm just gonna go. No. Ah, the exit, finally. Right outside here is a gold key. Which is one of four in the game. There. So there are 54 keys total. 50 silver, 4 gold. There are four gold doors, and that's what these keys are for. Let's jump down. And fry some wolves. Yes, dog, I see the chairs. Well, it's hard for the dog to attack enemies if I kill them while they're still knocked down.
Alright. Now that's taken care of, let's go visit the mercenary camp. Come on, wolves. Bring it. There we go. Again? Where are you going? Go on, lead the way. Right here? Yep, okay. That'd be combat five, yeah. That'll do. I wish. <laughs> oh, health potions will be quite helpful. direction. Vault. It's quicker to jump down some areas than it is to take the actual path if you know where you're going. Now, up here is a silver key. And apparently a dig spot too. Let's get the key first. I'll be back for the dig spot. Oh, no. Other side. You're right behind these logs here? Ah, yes. Okay, dog. Where is it? Good, Charlie. Jet. No, no, no. The stuff's, the stuff's really not worth it to go after. Fine, where is it? You're being a good boy about finding all this stuff, so why not trust you? I get health potions occasionally. Those aren't exactly the cheapest things to buy in bulk. At, especially this early in the game. And when you're trying to save up to buy every house. 150 gold. Huh, that's about as much as a potion if I can drop the prices. No, what the? Dog? Be quick. Three. There we go. Okay. I'm not exactly sure how the treasure explorer hunter thing book works. I think it either increases his range of being able to find it or finding the better stuff. Ah. Before we actually go up into the mercenary camp. These things are a lot easier to see, especially off in the distance. Health potion, yes. And if I, isn't there one out here? Over there. Alright, now let's go in. If you can see it in the water and able to get to the water, it's usually worth it. But, considering you can just zoom over, spam E, and pick it up. Hi, Jimmy. Back from killing some dwellers. Come on in. Hmm, I guess they have to notice Jimmy has some extra accessories on the front, right? Sometimes wish I'd join me dad with a family oh, the business. Blows, oh, I never saw myself as a sugar salesman. It wasn't oh, really okay. feasible after I killed him. Uh, Not the best song. Jimmy, show stilts here that thing you do, you know. What thing I do? Thing. What thing? Yeah, what thing? Interact. Hmm. Kiss or fart? Hmm. Fart. <laughs> How very princess like. <laughs> oh, oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. 
Got out of there before he puked on my boots. Good. Sir, silver ball, good for gifts or good for signs? Never actually used them for gifts before. Roll over, you stupid mutt. Don't get too close. Damn thing's probably got Oops. rabies or something. Itchy trigger finger, sorry. Alright, Jim, how's things? You've been drinking in Brightwall again? They don't let anybody tell ya. Drinking alone is wrong. That's some of the best times I've had. Anyway, in you go then, mate. Yeah, yeah, they still don't know the minor details. Which is quite funny. Alright. Take a quick look around here. If I recall, there's a, both a chest and a silver key. Well, there's a chest at least. Mercenary left arm tattoo. No need to go any further than I actually ha did have. Hmm. I could have sworn there was a silver key around here. Maybe it's up there. You can handle a gun, but can you handle it? I can't. All right, Jimmy. That really you? You look different somehow. So I always that color. Nah. Jimmy's got periwinkle eyes, like a beautiful summer morning sky. Very bandit-like. That's not him! Gotcha. It's not Jimmy! Oh, yeah. This girl's rich! <laughs> oh no, that was a funny one. I may have to save that. I hit one guy with a fireball. Direct hit. He bounces over, hits an explosive barrel, and then, sh which sets it off, killing the other guy. Uh, let's aim up this time. I think I can hit that from here. Ah, yes. Headshot! Quite honestly, I do not want to be standing near those when they go off. Ready to die. And not yet. Oh. There we go. Bloody magic! Show the fuck what you mean! Just hit them all. Roll back, roll back. There was some quick shots. Can't take too much more, can you? Sure do take a lot. Alright. Ah, right there. What? Ah, come on. Stay where you are. Ah, yes. Headshot. Uh, seriously, I saw. I thought there was a silver key there. Oh well. Mercenary chest to do. Is that everyone? There we go. Much better. Big spot. Come on, boy. Be quick about it. Oh, someone's coming near. Maybe. He was growling. All right, let's clear the area. Jimmy, 
he was my mate! Die! Luckily the first level charge does not take too long. Two snipers, you want to snipe? Fine. Uh, get you. <laughs> that was good. I thought I hit him in the head, though. Come on, boy. Where is it? Doing all his little tricks while I dig. Yes. Back to my, show my mat. Treasure chest. Yes. Oh, the silver comes up there. Duh. The wolves are the easiest here. Chicken, come here. <laughs> you look ridiculous in the beard. Yeah. Oh, just mo. I really want to see this. How is the attractiveness? Lower, not lowest, but lower. Okay. <laughs> Took someone out. Get that key. Awesome. Five. I know where there's a five chest key and it's not too far from the dweller camp. Uh, wait. Oh, no, no. Let's go back up. Anyone chasing? No? Excellent. There's an achievement called Barrel of Laughs and it's basically blowing up people with the barrels that they stand next to. I already picked it up a while back. I don't know how I'm getting these chain shots though. Uh, I can't see your head. I get, oh wait, never mind. Come this way. That'll do. What are you working at? Dig spot. Alright, where is it, boy? Right there. Alright, not too far. Two hundred gold, not bad. Good for a potion. Health potion, at least. Treasure first, dig spot later. Mercenary face tattoo. No, thank you. All right. Oh, long range. Oh, wait, hold it. Just making sure. All right. Go. That can go. <laughs> he flew. You know, I'm really starting to like the rifle for these long distance shots. Although I've been using the, the pistol for a faster close range combat. Alright, someone following? Yes? No? Slow time. Three of them. Excellent. Ah, some people are coming up. Where, what are you doing? Alright, we got time before they get here. Alright, where are they? There they are. Let's see if I can't nail them from way back here. Come on, stand still. Got one. 
Alright, there's another. Alright. I am really liking the rifles. Alrighty, let's head on in. Leave her! She's mine! You've left quite a trail of bodies. Thank you. You're not one of Sabine's dwellers, that's for damn sure. But you'll die like one. Don't think so. You have to dodge quite a bit as he throws these small tops quite well. And be careful which way you're trying to dodge. As the fire can be quite dead. Food, please. <laughs> Slow time, please. No, no, no. Keep firing, fight. <laughs> Keep firing. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. You know, I really wish he would get set on fire. Let's slow time again. Nope, no, nope, not getting close enough to punch me. Dwellers be, no matter what you do, that is a warrior's promise. Excellent. But I'm evil. Or trying to be. <laughs> Time to go to the roll to rule. Road to rule. Yeah, my speech class is going to be really horrible if I can't pronounce things right. <laughs> oh boy. I spared him before, so I know what I'm doing. You have taken another step on the road to rule. Defeating Saker has won over many of the people he terrorized. Word is already spreading of your victory. All right, let's see what I got up here. All right, lower expression. It's this one. Family pack. Eh, might as well. Alright. Going magic focus, so we're gonna hit this one.
And let's go ahead and upgrade Pie Maker. Don't worry, I'm not going to worry about the others. They're, I prefer Pie one over the other two main games. Fewer hits, although a little slightly faster. Alright, let's go. It is a momentous occasion, though. Your first victory in battle. I'm no expert on personal combat, but I would say, based on the fact that you're not dead, you acquitted yourself rather well. It's hard to believe that just a few days ago I was rousing you from a comfortable bed. It would seem that you have completed two of the tasks that Sabine set for you. If you return to Brighton, you will find Sir Walter has some news on how to fulfill the last requirement. Ah, fast travel time. I wanted to hear it. Sir Walter is no, still waiting for you in the Brightwall Tavern. He seems to have become rather attached to the place. Repair all. Very handy. Alright. Let's go here. Two. Come on. Wait, no. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Fast travel there, but I'm going to change out of these clothes. <laughs> Don't exactly want to be known as the bearded princess. <laughs> then again, you're quite funny. Ah, hello. Ah, yes, hello. 